So here we have the Alfa Romeo 4C. This is a very special car and it's traveled a long way to get here. It's come all the way from the United States of America and what an honor it is. Today, we're gonna to be upgrading the actual full system in the car, but also we're gonna be fixing some of the issues of the existing sound system that's been installed in the car. And that's why it's over here with us. And we're adding a very special product, the Audison Thesis Venti. So join me on today's journey. Let's go. So let me tell you guys a little bit of a story and background before we get too carried away on today's video. So this Alfa Romeo 4C has had a system already installed by a company in the States. Client was happy with the system. Basically what the system was originally was an Audison Thesis front end to a tweeter, mid bass driver in the front of the door, a sub in the kick well, and then a 5.1K Audison Voce amplifier and a processor in the boot. That was the system, client was all happy. Then it went in for some other worker, another company, and long story, it's all basically not making any sound right now. Then we've also got the issue of when it is playing, is the kind of lack in kind of mid bass and clarity that the system has. This could be partly to do with the tuning setup that it's got on there. So we'll have a look at what's on there a bit later on in the video and actually see how the setup is currently. Then we'll be doing our fine tuning to get the system sounding right. But the system also does lack a little bit of power and that's where the new product comes in. That's called the Audison Thesis Venti. It's a 10,000 pound two channel amplifier that we're gonna be running the tweeters with. The current Audison Voce 5.1K is gonna be running the mid bases as well as that sub. So we're utilizing some of the existing product but adding a hell of a lot more power into this system. And those Thesis tweeters are gonna be running perfectly with that new Audison Thesis Venti that's gonna be going into the car. So let's head over to the boot now and let's show you exactly where everything's gonna be placed. So firstly, before we get too carried away, number plate is mega and also engine bay looks really cool. Underneath here, this is where the Audison 5.1K is and that Audison Bit Virtuoso. What we're gonna be doing is basically pretty much leaving this in place. We're gonna be redesigning all the cable runs because they were a little bit not neat. This is gonna be running the mid bases. The Virtuoso is the brain of the system. So it goes from the Sony high res unit over to the Bit Virtuoso. Bit Virtuoso is gonna go into the Audison Thesis Venti, which will sit on top as the showpiece product. Then underneath, you're gonna have these two products really, really providing that clarity and tuning ability via the processor. So that's all gonna be in a custom enclosure. I cannot wait to get started on this install and share the entire journey with you guys. So we've got a hell of a lot of work to do and a bit of a deadline as well. This car needs to leave the country and it needs to be sounding great. We've already removed the door panel as well as the original speakers. Now it's moving on to soundproofing, which is such a fundamental part of doing a system. The product that we chose for this system is a Skins 3 mil layer. It's a really, really phenomenal bit of kit that we use across pretty much every single install to build a better structure for the system to work in. What we've done is also 3D printed adapters. We've got threaded inserts into there. So everything is nice and solid. As you can see, we've also embedded our name into it, which is just a nice little touch. The three mil layer gets applied to three key areas inside the door card. You've got the back of the door card itself, the central layer, which as you can see here, and then behind the speaker as well. On the actual door card itself, we also line that with the six mil liner from Skins, which basically what that does is it cushions sound and also helps with condensation inside a door as well. So that is a call acoustically deadened on the back of the door card as well. And that is where the tweeter actually mounts to. Next up, we have the Audison Thesis Sax. This is the mid base in the vehicle. The system comprises of a tweeter and a mid base in the front door and then one sub. So this is a really important part of the system. As you can see, everything is done very, very professionally, all using the correct tools. The six and a half inch mid base is really important in part of a system, mostly because of the amount of frequency range that it plays. As you can see, we're using braided cabling here, also connection free, oxygen free cabling, which again makes a hell of a difference when you're installing a system to this level. You'll note here these little orange connectors. These are called an XT60 connector or an XT30 connector for the tweeters as it has a slightly smaller cable. 
These cables and connectors are really important in building a strong system that's going to last a lifetime. Plus, it means that it's fully reversible as well. You can easily disconnect the speaker at any time for someone that may need to service the system or alternatively actually just disconnect the system as well and move it to another vehicle. We've been working tirelessly to revamp this audio system and so far everything is working as it should and most of the issues that we found originally are gone. But we know that to truly experience the power and clarity of the music tracks, we need something special. And that's why the owner invested in a one of the kind handcrafted amplifier straight from Italy worth a whopping £10,000. And here it is, the Audison Thesis Venti, the £10,000 two-channel amplifier. As you can see from the top, it's got the manual, but these systems are only really designed to be installed by professionals like ourselves. Incredible level of quality and system. Inside the packaging, as it states, literally within the pricing and also the level of equipment it is, the packaging looks incredible. It all comes really nicely protected and sealed. And this is really important because this system is going to be absolutely insane and also the level of equipment that it is, it deserves that level of respect. But yeah, just have a look at this. The amplifier is just simply a masterpiece. So just to go through some figures on it, at two channels, which is the system and it is, at four ohm impedance, it runs in two different ways, high current and high power. High current outputs 200 watts per channel, plus in high power mode, you can output 400 watts depending on the style of system that you're running. In terms of what we're doing now is actually stripping the amplifier down as it arrives, and this is all part of the process in how we do a system because depending if we're running high current or high power or what we're running in the system will vastly depend on what system and what power output we're going to want. What's involved in doing that is dismantling this £10,000 amplifier, changing over some of the circuit boards in it and fusing inside it to really change over the actual spec of the system to run from high current to high power. Again, this is recommended to be only done by professionals like ourselves. So if you're interested in having an amplifier like this installed in your vehicle, please feel free to reach out. We're more than happy to run you through options or check out some of the packages on our website. As a nice little touch, you also become an exclusive member of the Audison Thesis Venti Club. Now it's time to get this amplifier installed into the vehicle. It's now time to hook it up with all the wiring that we've laid in, all carefully done, and then it's going to be time to sit down and tune the system to gain the maximum result. With the Thesis Venti now powered up, the lights are glowing and it looks absolutely incredible. Everything has now been tested, all the speakers are working, and now it's time to move on to tuning and making sure the system sounds exceptional and as good as it possibly can be, which again is such a fundamental part. We load this up onto our computer, sit in the vehicle and go through, tune everything by ear with our technical experts going through, making sure everything is perfect, safe, and also sounding incredible. Onto the final touch, the Alfa Romeo badge just sets off that panel perfectly. The panel comprises of mesh to keep everything cool, but also onto a leather and Alcantara panel, which looks absolutely phenomenal. This is going to cover the Audison Thesis Venti and the processor and the Audison 5.1K amplifier. So everything is concealed, but still got plenty of air to keep moving and keep cool. So the install is complete and what a proud moment it is. To start with, I'm gonna do a little knock test on the vehicle to show you the soundproofed areas. As you guys know, earlier on in the video, I mentioned this car had a sound system already from a company in the States, but that has all been ripped apart and all done to our standards. So this door card itself has been soundproofed. I'm gonna knock on here, so hopefully this comes across on video. So that's really nice and solid. Now, even just knocking on that, I can actually hear that that panel is now nice and solid. So that's been done on this layer and inside the back of the door card as well. And then this is a non-soundproof panel. So 
So hopefully you can hear that on video, the difference between a soundproof panel and not. So now it's time to move over to the showpiece amplifier and the heart of the system, the Audison Thesis Venti. So this is the moment, the Audison Thesis Venti. Fully custom enclosure here. So we've got the Audison Thesis Venti on top. Underneath there, we've also got some really cool products. The actual amplifier itself is running the set of Audison Thesis tweeters that we've got in the front. Then we've got an Audison 5.1K and a bit virtuoso. That's basically the amplification side, but the brain of the system comprises of two parts. One part is the Sony Hi-Res optical out unit that runs an optical cable all the way to the bit virtuoso. That virtuoso basically is the brain of the system. So what it does is it corrects any issues or any flaws and also allows us to tune the system as well. Once that is tuned, basically that then clean, nice signal is going directly into that Audison Thesis Venti and that Audison 5.1K to give a crystal clear sound. So we've tuned the car. It sounds incredible. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's video. It massively helps us out if you can smash that subscribe button. But it's now time to jump inside the car and enjoy the sound of an Audison Thesis Venti. Let's go. Literally madness. Every single song that we've played pretty much gives me literally goosebumps. Exceptional. Like the amount of power that is in this system that is so close to you, because obviously the size of the cabin in here just leaves me speechless. Absolutely phenomenal. So there's a few things that I want to talk to you guys about now you've heard this incredible system. Firstly, a massive thank you to our incredible team who are able to pull off installs like this. Second of all, thank you to our client. Not only has he got so much trust in us from all of our social media to literally not only send a car somewhere in the UK, which obviously is a massive honor as well, but this car has not just traveled from the UK, it's traveled all the way from Washington in the United States of America to us to have this work carried out. And honestly, I can't tell you how much of an honor that is. So thank you very much to our client, thank you to our team, and also thank you to all of you guys for watching our content, helping us grow our business. It really does help us. So if you have enjoyed today's video, if you haven't done so already, smash that subscribe button, add a comment, let us know what your thoughts are, and also let us know what you wanna see next in future videos. We're always looking to give back and showcase exactly what we're doing and to the level that we work to. So thank you again so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.